page 66, Spanish Fiesta. In this lesson we get a new time signature. No big deal. If, as long as you understand what the numbers mean, it doesn't matter what they are. You've had 6-8 time and you've had 4-4 four, four time. Here you get 6-4 time. So there's six counts in a measure, like in 6-8 time. But a quarter note is getting a count here. So it's the same as six quarter notes in every measure. That's all it is. We get uh, some more practice with triplets on this one. And they tell you the little box of what equals a beat and two beats. I assume you already know that. You don't need that little box by now. You're aware of how many counts a quarter note gets or a half note or all that. As long as the bottom number is a four and a quarter note gets a count, you, we've been doing that most of the time. You will notice they have a, a dotted half rest. That's a half rest with a dot behind it. You can see it up in the little box. A dotted rest works the same way as a dotted note. So if a half rest is going to get two counts, then add the dot. That's another count. That's three counts total for the dotted half rest. I could have had a dotted whole rest. There's no need to, but I could have because we're allowed six counts in a measure and a dotted whole rest would get six counts. Four for the whole rest and two for the dot because the dot gets half what the rest gets. But it's unnecessary because a whole rest represents a whole measure, regardless of how many counts it gets. So we just use the whole rest. So I'll go through the routine I used to learn a piece of music. Let's see where we get. I look it over, it's about a page and a half long. Treble and bass clef, one sharp in the key signature. We're either in the key of G major or E minor. I look at the end, the last measure at the bottom of page 67. We're here and here. Take all those notes. It, we're not, we don't have a B, but it's, a, it's a, a G major chord. So I figure we're in G major. But I'm going to do scales for both. G major and E minor. Do both scales. 6-4 time, we already talked about that. Let's take it one hand at a time, make sure we understand what the hands are doing. The right hand starts thumb on G here. Now put your hand in this position. And we'll adjust for the black keys when we need them. Because on the triplet, A flat, well, the second finger here, I'll go here. And the B flat is here, so it's the third finger. And it's triplet, or four and a. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, three. All it is, or triplet. One, two, three. Eventually you feel it, you don't need to count it. But all of this rhythm, these triplets are going to be the same throughout. Different notes, but the same counting. And then during the rest you come down one, same thing. One, two, and then back up. I don't really like this moving around. It's fine. You, you get the practice of moving a little bit, but you could have played the whole line in this position. All the notes are there, so I could have started. You're just using it here. Well, these are a little awkward fingers. Tough. Don't shy away from the awkward fingers, because the more you use them, the less awkward they'll get. So I would think it would be better to play this first line in, in this position to start with second finger. I'm not moving at all. And that's what I'm going to recommend. However, if you want to use thumb on both, that's fine too. Then for measure five, we'll get the chords. It's just a G chord. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you come up one here. If you don't fit up in here for the A flat, the C and E flat, you can do that, second finger, or here. Whichever fingering, I don't know how big your hands are. That works. That keeps your hand out here. So I could have gone from here to here, or you can go up here too. Measure 13. It's a B natural, and then A flat. Isn't that wonderful? Now remember that accidental is good for the rest of the measure. So both of those A's are flatted. And the next measure is C, B, A flat again, again. So as it turns out, all of the A's on that line, the whole line, 
turns out they're all flat, A flats. There's a triplet at the end of the line, one and two and three, one and two and three and a, or one and two and triple a. Now measure 17, the notes are in the same place as measure 13, but it has an 8VA above the line. And that 8VA, the dash line goes all the way across, so instead of here, we're up here. You're just playing the same thing, but you're up here. And then measure 21, you're back down here, the 8VA went away with the chords again. We've had this before. Left hand, well you get the G chord at the beginning. And then that one sus four, I won't get into it, the middle note just comes up one. It's not a 5-7 chord because we're still here. This would be a 5-7 chord, but we're not playing that, we're playing this. And then, and then second line, it's pick up this beats five and six. The first four beats are at the end of the first line. And this is five, six, five, six. One, two, three, four. See that dotted half note gets three counts, and it's tied to a quarter note. That's four counts total. One, two, three, four. One. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Let's take a look at measure six. One, two, one. And at this rhythm, I don't get it that. Well, take out the tie temporarily and just play all those notes. They're just quarter notes. That's all they are. But then when you can get that okay, you ha just hang on to that A flat rather than playing it again. Measure 13, you're back to the chords again. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, and a four chord. Oh, sorry. That's an eight. If you don't want to be up in here, just do this. So I can go from here. here. Again, I don't know how big your hands are. Put the hands together, and we're here. And when I first put the hands together, I hesitate all over. I don't care. I just want to know how they're working together. It's here. Rest, both hands rest at the last beat. And then now that sounds wrong in measure two. It says, What? What were they drinking? When you get something like this that just sounds wrong, we'll just stop for a moment and spell it out. Start with the bottom note and work out every note in it. So in the second measure, we have a G, a C, a D, and an F. An F natural because there's an F sharp in the key signature. So, so yes, sound wrong or not, that's what it is. Rest. Now, third measure, you left hand comes up. So. Left right hand's gotta move up, but you got rest to do that in. measure six again. We'll just real carefully pick out that tie in the left hand and play all those quarter notes. It's together. See the second quarter note, the second A flat comes with the chord, like so. And then once you have that, then you put the tie in. It's Measure 13, or up here. I don't know, it's what he wrote up. Measure 17, the 8VA, the right hand comes up. The left hand doesn't move, it stays right where it's at. You have two beats of rest at the end of measure 16 to get the right hand up, and you're just doing it again. Then on measure 20, you're here. One, two, three, and a four. That's all that is. And then five, six. And during five, six, you get the right hand back down where it goes. So it's one, 
similar to what you've had. At last measure you have to move. You're here, rest, and then you get one beat rest and the right hand to come up here. The left hand's already resting. So I suggest as you play this note, get the left hand where it goes, right there. So it's one, two, so you're already there. And that way you only have to think about moving the right hand. The left hand's already in place. So the last two measures down there is Rest. Right, so I'm moving them one at a time there. It's easier than trying to move both hands at the same time and in opposite directions. So once I get the hands sort of working together, then I'll go back through it a few hundred times or whatever it takes and slowly work out the hesitations. Keep it slow. Speed isn't important right now, but no hesitations. Then I'll add the articulation. I'm flexing at the wrist for the staccato, the short staccato accent. Acts a little extra note. The chords, the rest. Get the idea. Second line, there, pick up to measure five. This is connected. These, real short. Like taking a breath. So the melody for the most part is connected with a few staccatos. The chords are all staccatos. The measure 13, this is connected with this. kicker here, be careful. When you're doing this, the tendency will be to accent the quarter note just because you're coming off. No, the natural accent goes on a half note. Don't, don't accent the quarter note. measures staccato staccato and accent just play them louder and once I have an idea of the articulation then I go back and add the dynamics that applies to the melody so the chords wherever they are keep them in the background here F is forte for loud at the beginning makes the accent note a very loud note just a lot of weight is all it is chords these are just sort of sort of loud to sort of soft in there Measure three. That D, if I'd hit it right, that's loud. That's part of the melody. That's melody. It's got to sound like one hand playing all of that. And then pick up to measure five. MF is mezzo forte, which is sort of loud. That's the melody. These chords are soft. Like so. Measure 13, you go back up to loud for the right hand. Measure 17, you're going to echo what you just did. Soft. The chords are very soft. And then at the end of that line, pick up to measure 21. You're back up to moderately loud. In the And then that last line is loud down there. You can do that. And very loud at the end. I don't agree with putting accents on very loud notes because that would make them super loud. Collapse the wrist when you do this. They're staccatos. Don't tense up and bang on it. Just play them really loud. Yeah. Let the wrist collapse a little bit on those. And then finally the speed. Cone spirito. Speedy toe. I can't pronounce Italian word a hoot. It just means with a lot of spirit. 
Well, it's too early in the morning for me for that. It's kind of lively. don't copy me. You get into it, you play it, you make it yours. You don't have to go that speed. And remember the natural accents. It's similar to 6-8 time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. That's Feel these natural accents as you're going through this. I'm exaggerating them so you can hear them better, but you just want to feel these. Let's play this very slowly together and just check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do any louds and softs, so I'm going to play it all about the same, but I'll do the accents. And the staccatos and the slurs. We're just going to go really slow. This is just to make sure you have all the right notes and your rhythms are okay. Just do it one hand at a time if you need to. One, two, three, four, ready, go. Rest. Rest. Two, three, four.
rest, rest, rest.